So I'm back again at Windhill Bike Park, but this time I'm going to be riding a different trail. So I'm going to be riding past the duchy. There's a small black section which you can take off to the side, but there's also a red section. I'm going to be showing you both, so depending on your skill and what you feel like doing, you can pick either. So dropping in from the start ramp at the very top, it brings you speedily to the very start of the trail. So the day that I'm riding this isn't too wet, but the roots are just slippy enough to be able to slide you off. So although it isn't the best day for riding, it could be worse. All along the trail, there are some faster sections and slower sections. Firstly, I'm going to be showing you the black section and then I'll show you the slightly tamer red section. As you can probably tell, if you're not riding a full suspension bike, it might be a bit hard on your bike. I have to say this section looks way tamer than when you're there. It's really big root gullies and it takes a bit to navigate around or through. This trail would be amazing fun on its own. The routes as an added feature are amazing. It's a really good challenge to test yourself, your tyres and your riding capabilities. These bumps here, you get quite a lot of speed into. You can either pump them or you can try and make them as a mini gap jump. As you might be able to tell, these sections are using up about half my suspension. So you probably want an enduro bike for this, but I would say a trail bike could do just fine down this trail. It might be a little bit more solid, but it'd still be fun. Now let's move on to the red section. So it starts off the same, like the black section, then it turns off to the left. The section isn't as brutty or as steep as the black section, but it's still amazing fun. And it's better for the less advanced riders if they don't want so much of a challenge. Along the side of the trail there's a few optional gap jumps, depending what you want to do. This is the first time that I was riding this trail so I didn't actually know what was ahead of me. I was trying to go a little bit slow in case there was this massive gap jump for some reason. This is where the red and black trails merge and then we have a fast, more flowy and jumpy section down to the bottom. This section is probably where you can pick up the most speed along the entire trail. It's fast with a few routes mixed along and has a few berms every now and again to keep your speed. And that's the end of the trail. Overall, I think it was a really good idea adding the red section instead of just the black section. More of the less competent riders could ride the red section, and then as they get more confident riding more technical trails, they could then work up to the more rooty and more s where slippier and steeper black section. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully enjoyed this trail as much as I did. Leave any of your thoughts on the trail down in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video next week.